And that is how you make this beautiful drip of lava. It's like, I know you guys liked it. Hell yeah. What up, what up? I am, and today I'm going to be going over how to make La Orzeca. It's actually not as hard as you think. It just requires a little bit of time and, well, a good amount of gear, we'll say. Great news is it is perfectly obtainable, meaning you just have to be able to go to certain areas and get certain drops. Of course, the drops are RNG, but, uh, you, you know, BDO. But no worries, I actually have guides on all the areas we'll be going to, with the exception of one, because, as you know, it's the most dangerous in the game. Future guide on that? Possibly. More than likely? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More than likely. First, I need to explain how the costume is made. In each of these areas, you will either be looking for a Kudurin's black leaf or a Kudurin's ashen leaf. Red leaf, black leaf. I just, I like to say red leaf, black leaf because Kudurin is mouthful. You agree, do you not? Smile. You will need 100 of each of these leaves. Once you get them, use simple alchemy in your processing tab. Black leaves will give you the left lung, which will help you form your helmet. And on the other side of the coin, the ashen one, the red leaves will give you the right lung, which will give you your body. You can actually get the whole lungs as a drop as well from these areas, though it is a lot more rare. You get hella boosted if you get it. Meanwhile, me sitting here, I've gotten three from Ash Forest. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that's the only thing I really got from Ash Forest. Though. I'm not really, uh. What was your of that one song? Cry me a river. Yeah, yeah, that, what is, I forget the name, you guys know. And now that you know the base materials, let's get into the locations you need to go. First, Kuruan's black leaves, the, the black ones, yes. You want to start grinding this actually out really early, one of your best spots for this leaf will be Thornwood Forest. You can actually come here at a really low gear score of 269 AP and about 330 DP with Iron Wall set. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, a Faros, a Faros. Keep an eye on all the Faros as they have a really good chance to drop your leaves as well in each area. I personally like using the bridge rotation because I think it's the most comfy. And next we have Ash Forest. The minimum you're gonna wanna come here, in my opinion, is 289 AP and 371 DP. It is class dependent and you're gonna definitely want some elixirs if you're coming here that early. Again, don't forget to check out the guides I have on the channel because they are there to help you. Next we have the Kudurin's Ashen Leaves, the red ones for the body. Turo is actually one of my favorite group grind spots in the game will be your entry level to start acquiring these leaves. Believe it or not, you can actually come here around 269 AP and do okay, but the real requirement is 341 DP because they do hit quite hard. They have a little bit of a lower AP cap, so hitting it at earlier gear score is not as bad. Do be quite careful though if you're coming here that early. Ooh. There is another spot, however, for higher alternative and actually my other favorite, if not the top tier one grind spot in the game, Olin's. For Olin's value, you're going to want to come here at a bare minimum of 289 AP and 383 DP. There's a lot more you need to grind here besides just another friend though. You need yet yeah, another friend. You need two and then you have to have more elixirs and there's mechanics and things and just... Did I mention I have guides? Just go look at them. They help a lot. I have two different guides. You're welcome. <laughs> You can definitely expect to make more leaves per hour being three to five at both Ash and Olin's because they have the higher gear score requirements. At the lower gear score places such as Turo's and Thornwood, you'll expect to make maybe one to two an hour, so not as good. Now there is one other spot and it actually drops both and it is the most dangerous in the game. Crypt of Resting Thoughts. Bro, even under a mask, look at this place, it's so dark and ominous and ooh, the atmosphere. Not gonna lie, though, this place is a fun grind if you don't mind, uh, possible death. Smile. Actually, I take that back. Death is, death will happen. Yeah. What kind of gear you need here, you ask? A lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, the more, the better. With a crap ton of accuracy. Me, personally, when I came here, I was 287 with an accuracy offhand, and I was about 412-ish DP, somewhere around there. And I was still dying with a full looks rotation. <laughs> Not for the faint of heart, but it does drop both sets, both leaves, and both lungs. Now that you have your leaves and lungs done, let's go, that's sick, now we can make your outfit. Now when you have your lungs in your inventory, make sure to right click them and go to NPC location. You will go through then a mini quest and then you will have your pieces for your outfits. Quests don't take too long, no worries, just a couple minutes usually just going from NPC to NPC. There have been a couple of people asking for how I dyed my Laura Zeka in here. I'll be leaving it here on screen for you guys to use as kind of like a blueprint for your color schemes. Enjoy, enjoy. Send me pictures. I want to see some really good looking stuff, okay? Discord coming soon. Once you have made both and equipped them, you can actually get a special title, Laura Zeka. 
Simply open your black spirit and accept the Kudrin's lung quests. This will lead you to our beautiful queenie of Odorlita, Odraxia. Yes, go to her, and it's simple as that. You have the title. Now, there is a little bit of information that I also want to tell you about that could become very useful for you in the future. Let's say you don't have another outfit, but you've changed mains. You've re-rolled, you're doing another class, and you want to carry your La or Zeka over to another. Go to this goofball Francia Karshin in the Odorlita library. You will need two of her crystals that she has, so one bill. And do keep in mind this is per piece, so if you want to exchange both for your class, the helmet and the armors, you will need four, so two bill. This process can actually be done daily if you find yourself re-rolling quite a bit. Or just wanted to put it on tags or other classes for fun to try it out, you never know. That silver goes fast though, let me tell you. Definitely not from experience, ha ha ha. Go to Bert Bed Mountain in order to exchange your armor. She is actually just behind the queen in Odalita. And for your helmet, the exchange will actually be at Lamette, the blacksmith of Odalita. Okay, the city name is Adraxia, but you, you guys know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations on finishing your La Ozeka. About time. Jesus, why doesn't everyone have them by now? Holy. Kidding, kidding. And that is it for this guide on how to get La Ozeka. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel now. Some of you like that, some of you didn't. Let me know. <laughs> Oh, the headpiece, by the way, that I usually wear is from the Dark Marshall set and not from Laura Zeka. See you all in the next video. Crimson out.